Hello, in this video what I'd like to cover is the syntax that you would use when doing searching using boolean operators, wildcards, exact phrases, proximity, and proximity range searches. There's three areas where you can conduct these searches using this syntax. One, if you're on a new search tab, you can use this search line right here. Another area is if you go into a find template. So if I click on the search button, select a find template, I can use this syntax in the name for the descriptive name of the document and the text in file. And then also if you're an existing file list displayed, you have your search line right here. And this is where I'm going to go through all these examples in this video since it'll just keep me on the same screen each time I do the search. Now the first thing you want to do is set your context of what you want to search. You do that by clicking on the binocular button here. You can either search file contents, which is just the full text, the doc ID or the descriptive name of the document, or the doc ID or descriptive name or contents, which is the full text of the document. So I'll leave it set at this setting right here. Now the first thing I want to do is go over the, the three Boolean operators we support, which are AND, OR, NOT. And you can either type the words in for the operators or you could use the symbol. So in this case I'm doing a search of planning and headquarters and I'm using the ampersand sign for AND. And since I'm searching for either the doc ID, the description, or the contents, if it finds that either in the descriptions or it finds it in the contents, it'll return the document as a hit. Next I'll run the same search, but I'm going to use the OR. And the OR is the pipe symbol, which is a shift in above the backslash key. Or you can just type the word OR in if you want to. It'll support either one. and then it'll bring back your hits. And once again, we're searching, so if it finds th that combination we're looking for, or the syntax either in the description field or in the contents, the full text, it'll bring the document back as a hit. Now the last one we have for the operators is the not, and that's the exclamation point. So what I'm looking for here is anything that has planning but not headquarters. and then it'll bring those documents back. And since we're searching for either description or contents, notice this one doesn't have it in the description, but it does have it in the content, so it did meet the criteria and came back. The next thing I want to go over is wildcards. What we support for wildcard is an asterisk at the end of characters, uh, so you get variations of a word. So if I type in plan asterisk, that'll return anything that has plan, planner, planning, any variation on the word plan. You can't use an asterisk at the beginning of a word. It has to be after you type in so many characters to complete the word. And then you can also combine that with your Boolean operator. So I could do something like plan asterisk and head asterisk and bring back those results. Now the next thing I want to cover is an exact phrase search. By default, WorldDocs considers any search that you type in text-wise for the description or full text to be a proximity search within three words. And that's how it's set out of the box. It can be changed at sites and sites do sometimes set their defaults. But out of the box, if you do a WorldDoc search and I just type in hot space dog, what World Docs can consider that as a proximity search of hot within three words of dog. And that's what it'll bring back. Um, now, if you want an exact match, then you'd want to put it within double quotes. And then when you run the search, it just brings back the exact match that you're searching for. Now, another instance where you'd want to use double quotes is if you're doing a search either on this search line here or on the new search tab search line since it's combining the doc ID with or the description or doc ID or description or contents 
<clears throat> if you just type a number in, WorldOx is going to assume that you're looking for a WorldOx document number. But what if you're looking for an address or a zip code or a number that's within the descriptive name or the contents? Then at that point, you'd want to put that number within double quotes. So if I'm put that in, then it'll know you're not looking for a document number and that you're looking for an actual text within the description or body of the document and it'll bring it back that way. So just one thing to keep in mind <clears throat> when you're searching from the search line or the search line on the search tab and you don't want it to be a document number, put it within double quotes. Now we also support proximity searches. So if I type in hot W slash seven space dog. That's going to find any document that has hot within seven words of dog. Now another proximity search you can do is, is proximity range search. So in this case, if I type in hot space forward slash two comma four space uh, backslash space dog so I've got a space between the two backslashes there what this is going to do is it wants to find hot where it's between two and four words of dog so right here it found that occurrence so that's how you could do a, a proximity range search rather than just a, a broad proximity search. So those are the options that I want to show in this video as far as using these Boolean, wildcard, exact, and proximity syntaxes within the searches.